Holy buckets. Look at that spot right there. I haven't seen that spot in two years. That's amazing how big this area looks. Whew. It's five o'clock almost, and I still have to change a set of tires on a 2017 F-150. We got a big snowstorm coming. And I also have to, when my wife gets home, put her winter tires on her car, which are already mounted on wheels, and change oil in her car. And an oil change on the F-150. But I went through a bunch of box. This is the only box of junk that's left from our garage, from our house fire. Our roof collapsed after our house burnt up. and made a mess out of the little shop that I had going there. And, you know, got some, all the nuts and bolts and stuff are in that big bin. I got a pile over there that needs to be sorted out too. But that thing is incredibly heavy to push by hand. But it did it, or I did it, so. Now I need to move all the lumber so it's underneath this so I can set some scaffolding up in here. And I'm pretty close to having everything out of here. Most everything that's left is on wheels that's heavy. The mill and the lathe, they're on a cart. You know, everything in that corner except the tire machine are on wheels. And I've got a couple of, I got some dollies I can slide stuff on. But it is getting closer. I need to do this rafter. The one behind me. Sheet the ceiling. Which, there's the sheeting. Paint, and then after I paint, I gotta decide, I'm either then gonna put pallet racking in here, but I probably have to put my airlines back up and because all that stuff needs to come down. I'm not painting over it. Whew, a lot of work yet to do this week, a lot of work. So I want this done by Friday. I feel pretty accomplished for getting this much done on a Monday. Because everything that you guys have seen in the past that was on this wall was still there. We got to the drill press moved the other day when I had, it took like 10 minutes. But... All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And we will see you again soon.